Hello friends, it's me James Charles back again. In this video, we shall be learning how to use the getMaxX and the getMaxY functions. Also, we shall be given an introduction to the basic coordinate system used in computer science, which is the core of all these functions. So why waiting? Let's get started. Now let's start with the coordinate system. I hope that you're already familiar with the coordinate system taught as being part of the basic school level math. But when it comes to computer science, we have a little bit difference. When it comes to the origin that is the point zero zero, it is located at the top most left corner pointed by this mouse pointer near to this recycle pin. This corner is actually the point zero zero. The x axis increases to the right while the y axis increases to the bottom. Now let's get into get to learn the line function, the getMaxX function as well as the getMaxY function. For that we shall start our Turbo IDE. That's it. It's been loading up. I hope that with this time you have already been familiarized yourself with the basic structure of the programs that we'll be seeing in the upcoming videos as well. Um, for now let's create a new file. For that press the F3 key, this window pops up and type your file name. For this video, let's give the game name as the function name itself. That is line dot cppbrc as your wish. Then press the F5 key to expand. And let's recall what we have learned in the last video. First of all, we need to write the header files. The first one being the conio and the second one being the graphics started. Well, one tip here. I would like to give you a tip here of this typo there. Graphics started. I would like to give you a tip here as well. If you need to know what these header files are, just right click on them and they will give some of this information. Well, I can't see the right information here. Oh, when it comes to functions, you can see the uh, required parameters and all that sorts of thing by just clicking on, by right clicking on top of them. Next, we have the void main function that returns none. That's why we are giving it as void return type. Then we have two integer variables, the graphics mm, drive for the graphics mode, set it to detect. Mm, then we have the initialize graph method, takes three parameters, Amberson GD, Amberson GM, BGI. Okay, that's it. At last we have the get CH function. Okay, now every functions that come is in written between these codes and so as you can see in the video title and also I've said it before we are going to learn the line function as the name suggests the, what the line function does is it draws a line within the points given as parameters uh, basically it takes four parameters as x and y pairs there that it is as x x1 y1 and x2 y2 from which point to what point it's as simple as it sounds and so let's first um, draw a random line out there. Let's simply simply give any of the starting point. Let's say 100, 200, then 300, 200, oh, 200. I hope you can infer from this statement that we're going to draw a line that will be in the having the same y coordinate. Let's look at the output there. As we got a line. And, this, and the starting point, I can't point the mouse, mouse right now. The starting point is 100, 200, and the ending point is, uh, what, what did I really forgot what the ending point was? Mm, ending point is 300, 200. And I think that you you got some idea about the line function. And now uh, we have we have so far learned the coordinate system. And if we need to get the get the maximum x coordinate or the maximum y coordinate. The C graphics library says don't worry and it provides a inbuilt function that will allow us to that will provide us the gra the maximum x coordinate and the maximum y coordinate as per our screen size. And and we have as we have told uh, said, uh, as I have told said earlier, they are the get max x oh, get get max oh my typos every time. Get max x and get max y functions. Now if we, if you need to learn more about these functions just right click on the top of them and they will get this description which uh, deals about the various parameters and lots of an example codes 
and if you find it difficult to follow this tutorial or not like that if you find uh, if you need to learn more about these functions just uh, right, right click on them and you will get more detailed instructions okay now let's focus um, on the on these functions so this is not, not the syntactically correct what I've written and now uh, if you need to draw a line a line from the leftmost uh, from this leftmost x corner to the right rightmost x corner you can use the get max x function to get the accurate um, coordinate of the maximum maximum width of the screen actually for that we can we can keep the y coordinate as the same so that the line is being has the same y coordinate i hope that it makes sense uh, we can have a different uh, y coordinate that is oh yeah, not that Mm, 300 actually 300 oh where is 300 and let's take the starting point to be 0 0 means this point okay and 300 means 300 from the top oh, I can't show them actually right now then we have the get max x function which gives a maximum width of the screen okay now let's look at the output there Okay, as we have predicted, it draws a line from the leftmost corner to the rightmost corner. We can also do the same with the y coordinate, and I will give you it as a simple exercise. Yet, just use the get max y function and from the point zero to this maximum y coordinate. And I hope that that uh, gives you a little, a little bit idea about the get max x function and the get x y function. Also, I will also like to say one more thing here. We can also uh, get the midpoint of the screen using the get max x uh, function by two. Yes, that's very simple. You can in already infer from the data here provided. But we can also get the midpoint using the get using the functions divided by two. And uh, I will I would suggest you to try it out and. Uh, Yes, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe and like this video. It's 